Eyes on Kukale Primary School in deplorable situation as pupils cry for help to be rescued from learning under acacia tree due to lack of free classrooms. The school has become the focus due to deplorable situation despite being a dream school for young learners. Kukale Primary School started in the year 2006 and it's one of the largest enrollment rates in Wajia County with a population of 602 peoples. It is located in Wajia West constituency. As early as 6 a.m. in the morning, ARF media crew left Wajia to visit the school to witness some of the challenges it was facing. At the school entrance, we were met with excited peoples making their way to the assembly with the principal, Mr. Yusuf Abdurrahman Haji, at hand to receive them. The peoples in red and white color uniform appeared at easy as a discipline covered their faces as they concentrated on citing the national anthem. This marked their welcome mood as wonder who the new visitors were who were carrying heavy cameras. Attention was on us as we went around the classrooms with our camera lens of captured young boys and girls who were eager to learn despite under acacia tree. Peoples from three deferred classes are learning under a tree without a desk. Number one, number one. Number one, number one. Number one, number one. Number one, number one. Where are you? 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 Here am I. 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 And how do you do? 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 It is a shocking scenario and the principal Mr. Yusuf beckons with it saying there is no other option but to have the people's learn under such unbearable circumstances so that they don't miss the lessons. Mr. Yusuf father stated that when there is changes of weather especially during the rainy season the peoples are forced to mix with others and build classes which consequently inconvenience learning. He also expressed fears that the lives of the people studying under the tree are at risk in the event the acacia tree falls. My name is uh, Yusuf Abdurrahman Haji, uh, the head teacher of this school, Kukale Primary School. Uh, our school has been started in the year 2006 with an enrollment of about 103 peoples. And currently, I'm speak, as I am speaking, the enrollment of this school is 602 peoples with uh, 334 boys and 268 girls. You find that the, schools, the school has a lot of challenges. With that big enrollment, some of the classes, including the ECD, which is under the county government, are uh, under learning under trees. We have three standard one class under three and two ECD classes, which are also under three, learning under three. Uh, I have been posted to the school January 2018. I have tried to communicate to a lot of places, CDF, Wajia West, 
I've communicated with the county office, Wajia uh, Education Department, even the CEC Education, Mr. Hussein Sugo, came to this school to see learners under the trees. You find that this school has the highest enrolled ECD in Wajia West because we have over 180 people currently in learning under the shed in ECD. In spite of all those efforts, still our children are under trees. Uh, we request that uh, we, we need, in, in fact, we need an emergency of the three classrooms, not at least three classrooms, so that this uh, uh, problem of uh, learning, children learning under trees is salvaged. Because this is uh, actually bringing us a lot of problems. Uh, looking at the weather condition, sometimes during the wind, even these trees, the acacia trees that the children are learning under, might, we are even afraid that it might fall down onto the children and cause accident. In fact, when the weather changes during rain, these children have nowhere to sit because even the existing classes are congested because of the large number of enrollment. The school manager further regretted that lack of desks is another challenge for the peoples as they have to do without them and sit on the floor. The other issue is that uh, I've talked about infrastructure thing. We need enough classrooms, an emergency of three classrooms. Then we have shortage of desks. The last time this school received desks from the records in this school is 2014. That's five years down the line. The days that we have now are dilapidated. We, uh, you know, we are always repairing, repairing and repairing. But it does not assist. Many of the learners are sitting under the ground or on the ground. In fact, we have only 96 days. Uh, if you look at that, each desk can, uh, uh, can only occupy three peoples. So that means over 200, over, uh, 200 desks are needed. More are needed uh, to give uh, the enrollment where to sit. You know, children need desks. If you look at uh, the, those who are sitting on the ground, even the textbooks that are, they are given, because the lower primary is the one that are affected, which is under the CBC curriculum, the new curriculum. They have the books that have been provided by the government, but those books, they are not put safely. Children normally put them on the ground and then look at the sun, they have been spoiled, the books. Lack of enough teachers is another predicament. The school is baffling, with it despite the pledge by the Teacher Service Commission, saying the school should have at least 12 to 13 TAC teachers. The school has only 5 TAC teachers, with an enrollment ratio of 600. Of this enrollment, which is 602, if we look at the standard, we are supposed to have all of teachers, at least all of teachers, or 13 from the Teacher Service Commission, but we are only five. Look at the margin, the margin of, the, of that. Due to the large enrollment, the school environment has become congested, experiencing poor sanitation, as toilets not enough for them. Then, even in terms of sanitation, the school has still a challenge. We, want, we wish to thank uh, the, uh, the, uh, the UNICEF for assisting us last time with two toilets. But still, the, depending on the, looking at the enrollment of the school, we, we need more toilets because we have two toilets for boys, two for girls, and two for the staff, which is not enough. The number of boys are 334. With the two toilets, many children are still uh, going to the bush. Uh, for girls, which are 268, and only two toilets, you can imagine, you can imagine where they will go. Parents who spoke to ARF Media also outlined the other challenges the school is facing, which is fencing and water. They said the school has a shallow well, which is not providing enough water. They said the school urgently needs an engine to promote pumping system for the school, while animals like giraffe, Coming to the school is common, which threatens the lives of the peoples. And the parents 
and raising alarm asking for immediate action to avert a looming danger. <laughs> أنا معي وحالي رضا حسين معلم وحان هاي كوكالة كوكالة وحاي كتر سنتها قلبت كوجار وجاء وست ما دام ما أنت نمن إنه إمادين وعد مهسنتين ولا ليال مدة كلا وحان ربع إسقول كدب كيس أنا وحكي شيء لمبر ون إسقول كوحان هو هست شيء اللي يرادو معلن الآن وسببه معلن ملحة إسقول كغريبه تدبر بقول عنك أن سمتن أي كنول هذا نقول له والدها أفر عن قائل ما هي وجرته ساكي إسقول كان صور لحقا صور بقد نسبونا من غريها نوعي ما مش عرورت مش هذا ينقول يبغى بتاع معلمين تا هذا يقول يبغى بان أفر جيدو يقولك إلما هاي واحد فاخر سنة وهلك جلاس طلعت عنك أما الله أي أي جوكت ونكو معلك وكل عز واحد كاخرنا ماشي هذا نقول لي الدنيا تولدوا حربنا هنا إن سوقر قرطة هنا إن ساعة ديسة قال إيش قالك واساسك وهل قال وقت يعني بيجروا أسكجر بيجور قال إيش واسكجر هلك عز بيجز ما بتوش يعني إلما Due to the insurmountable challenges facing the school, Mr. Yusuf has appealed to the area member of parliament, Horrible Ahmed Kolosh, county government, education stakeholders, and well wishes to intervene as the matter of urgently and resolve the crisis for betterment of the peoples. The performance of the school is exemplary despite undergoing innumerable challenges. According to Mr. Yusuf, he reported to the school in January 2018. The mean score in the year 2017 was 237 and improved to 241 in 2018 under his leadership. He has promised the parent that this year they're expecting to move to 250. When I talk of the performance of the school, in 2018, the mean score, uh, in 2017, the mean score was 237. But in 2018, we made a little improvement and now the mean score is 241. Uh, we are trying, uh, as the school administrator myself, I'm trying to make sure that the performance of the learners uh, improve, although still we have the challenges of lack of teachers. Um, otherwise, mine is just to request for uh, well-wishers, the county government, uh, uh, CDF office, and uh, his able member of parliament, Mweshima Golosh, to come into the rescue of this school because this school is one of the biggest schools in Wajia West. And uh, in terms of infrastructure, we are very badly off. So I'm requesting on behalf of the school board of management, on behalf of the parents of this school, that uh, emergency measures to be taken to save the learners who are learning under trees under this harsh environment.